Hi, I'm Valerie here with Redline. And my name is Albert. Uh, we're going to be showing you today um, what to do once your machine arrives at your house or place of business. Um, so the first thing to do is to uh, inspect the packaging. Make sure there's no physical damage um, before you sign anything. Um, so just walk around thoroughly, um, make sure everything's intact, and then um, so everything looks good here. Uh, so with the box cutter or with the pair of scissors, you can cut it open easily, um, just like Albert's doing right now. So you can go ahead and remove all the packaging material that are on there. Um, So you will notice the stand is already assembled on top of the crate. Um, it is actually upside down, so you will see four holes at the top where the casters will actually be screwed in. So we'll go ahead and remove this off the crate. You may need help. Spark more trash. All right, the next step would be to take the top off. And to do that, what you have here are these brackets all around. To take these brackets off, all you'll need is a flathead screwdriver. Take them off, just simply place your hand over, insert as shown, and take off. You do want to make sure you save the brackets to assemble the crate again. Uh, the great thing about the crate is it can be disassembled very easily for storage, so always save it uh, in case you need to ship the machine back for any reason. All right, next, is after the brackets are off, you want to take the top off. To do that, simply insert your flathead, pry it open. Go ahead and grab the ends. Be sure to be careful, don't get any splinters. So once the cover is removed, uh, you will see there'll be two papers actually adhered as well as a sample underneath to the plastic where your machine will come in. Here is a checklist of everything that will be included in the crate itself. And of course, uh, do not discard this box again, like we mentioned earlier, save the crate in case you need to ship anything back. Underneath that you will see we do test all our machines here in our warehouse prior to shipping So this is all the tests we have done prior to shipping this machine Then you will actually look for everything here um, So you'll take everything out here. You'll have your toolbox inside the toolbox You'll actually have your USB your oil or pen oiler uh, extra snippers and 12 pack of bobbins, your power cord, a lot of great tools, and of course we always ship an extra reciprocator. You never know, you always want to trace those designs. Thank you. You will also find the casters to your stand. You should have four. Here's two. Here's four. Depending which package you actually purchase, you'll actually have two sets of hoops. You'll see, you'll get your nine, 12, 15, and 20 centimeter hoop, as well as your 30 by 30, your two sets. You will also get your large hatch frame, hatch frame as well. your two large hoops, uh, your 20 by 14 inches,
and your table for that sash frame for stitching anything flat. Down in here, you do have these legs as an option if you don't want to place the machine onto the stand and you want to place it on a flat table, a sturdy table, you can use this as well. So you have this option, you should have four. You do get uh, your cap gauge. In the cap gauge, you will have one cap hoop already on there. Since you do get two, one will be in here and one will actually be on the machine on the cap system. You do get a starter kit as well. You'll get a 15 spools of thread of Metro Pro, basic colors. You'll get a color chart. And you also will also receive 50 yards of stabilizer. Again, from Metro, cutaway, 90. You do have the manual as well here. And again, we have the manual on our YouTube page as well. There's a lot of videos on there that you can also refer back to in case um, you're a more visual learner. And way down here, you have a little brown box with some extra screws. It'll actually, um, if you open it up, it actually has gummies in there. Let me grab a pair of scissors to open this. Thank you, Albert. So you'll have screws and you'll have these little gummies where you can also place uh, between the machine and the stand um, to help prevent uh, from the vibration when you're stitching. So you'll need your brown box to get the large screws for the stand. The stand is already pre-assembled, so you will have a lot of extra screws um, as well. So we only really need uh, these four to put the machine onto the stand. There's two. You do need the washers as well. So there'll be four of each, four screws and four washers. As you see, these are all extra. We will come back to the gummies later once we put the machine onto the stand. So we wanna place this to a side. We'll be right back with it. Next, we will be putting the casters into the stand. We recommend that you apply the brake. It'll be easier just to install them. So you place this into the hole, and it's just a ready tatty lefty loosey. and tight. There you have it, you have all four on there. Now we can actually turn this over. And in case you don't know which is the front to back, the front side is actually this side that has the red line label, and the one that has the two sides is actually the back. And the machine will sit on here, again with the little gummies. All right, next would be to take off the side panels. And to do that would be like the top, you wanna to take off the metal brackets. What you want to do is you want to take out each side first. What we recommend, you take out the small, large, small, large. So let's start with the small.
Once you take off all the brackets, go ahead and take the off side off, like so. And place it aside. So let's take the big side off. Next would be the next small side. And take off like so. Now before you begin the last, take off the last panel, what you want to do is take off the top of one of the middle panels, place it to the side. Now once you've taken off the top of the panel, of the middle panel, let's go ahead and take the brackets off from one of the side. Once the brackets on the bottom are taken off, go ahead and grab hold of the bottom portion of the middle bracket and pull off the side and easily just pull up the middle. And just place them on the side. So now you have exposed the machine, you've, re you've removed all the panels for the machine and when you receive it, the machine is actually bolted down into the pallet. So there is two screws you will need to unbolt. You will need a three-fourths, either a socket or an adjustable wrench to remove the bolts underneath. Next, we'll be removing the screws from the bottom. Once you get it loose enough, go ahead and use your hand. Next, we'll be taking off the next screw. And remember, lefty loosey, ready tighty. So now that the machine has been unbolted, you want to remove the cover off of it carefully. And you will also see that the machine is already pre-threaded as well and taped on back of the machine. So now that we have already placed the casters on the stand, we need to remove the brake on all four wheels. Remember, the red line is the front side and this is the back side. We're going to roll it right behind the machine. Put your brakes because you don't want it to move. This is a two person job at least to carry the machine onto the stand. We will also need to grab our gummies in the brown box. So the gummies will be placed here on these four circles, holes, holes onto the stand. You'll want to put them vertically, just like Albert's doing. If you cannot pick up anything heavy, please do not pick it up. Ask for help. Um, ask your neighbor, 
your family member to make sure cool. you can lift this onto the stand. It does weigh about 200 pounds. So please be safe. Use your knees and not your back. One, two, three. Move it more this way. I'll grab your four screws with the washers and place them on the bottom. Is that right? Mm -hmm. It'll be two on each side. And again, uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Go ahead and place the screws in like so. You want to tighten it to as tight as you can with your hand. All right, when we tighten with our hand, there's still a bunch of screw left. So what we're gonna do is grab our three forts and tie in the rest of it. And remember, clockwise, lefty loosey, righty tight. Now go ahead and tie, tighten the next diagonal screw. And last but not least, final screw. Now we have put the machine and the stand together, bolted in, and you will see the cap system is actually installed on the machine. And your second cap hoop, like previously mentioned, is actually on the cap system. So now you have it, your 15 needle red line inverter machine is ready and assembled to get started. All right, here's the crate broken down and ready for storage. Please, please, we highly recommend, do not throw your crate away. That way we can better service you later down the future uh, if you want to ship the machine back to us uh, for service. This is a great way, this is the safest way to ship the machine back to us because it's already created specifically for the Redline machine. And easy to assemble.